Today we're recording on the ZV E10 S Log 3, which I've never used before. So hopefully the quality looks all right. So welcome everyone. Today I am looking over a mouse sent out by MSI. Yes, the big company. Absolutely insane to be working with MSI on this collaboration. This right here is the GM31. They sent this out for a cheeky little review. I've been currently using the Attack Shark X3, which also Attack Shark are sending out something new, which I'm excited about. But today we're looking over the GM31 or GM31, whatever you want to call it. This is the Clutch, the lightweight mouse. Autofocus is mental on this thing, bro. Okay. Yo, sorry, I'm just, I'm testing out the camera. What can I say? So you can see there, it is a somewhat ergonomic, more styled mouse. It says ultralight gaming mouse with just 73 grams, which compared to the Attack Shark X6 is actually heavier with, I believe the X6 only being around 30 odd grams. So this is 73 grams. So that's a lot heavier than uh, a budget friendly mouse. And they're also saying it's perfect for your competitive playing as it also states fast and accurate, ac accurate? accurate movements are effortless. The sensor inside is a poor 3311 optical sensor. Thanks to the native 12,000 DPI optical sensor, delivers high performance and is exceptionally accurate. The one millisecond pollen rate in the heat of battle. They're saying this is like the ultimate gaming mouse right now. now they're saying competitive, they're saying battle, all speed, no wires, lose the cables and take control of the game with one millisecond latency thanks to an ultra fast wireless connection. It's quite a bold statement. A hundred and 10 plus hours on a single charge. That's a lot of hours, let me tell you now. That's more hours than I have in some games. That's crazy. Does that mean just standby? Or does that mean like you have to physically turn it on and off? Because no way in standby that's lasting 110 hours. That's crazy. Because if the docking port is right there, like you normally just, you normally just dock your mouse, right? So that would never die. A couple other specs for this before we get into the box. Pixel Art Pore 3311 optical sensor. The polling rate is at 1000 Hertz. Max DPI at 12,000. Preset switchable DPI. Are 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400. Button duration is the Omron 60 plus million clicks. Six buttons on there, cable length of two meters, dimensions are 120 by 64 by 37 millimeters. This requires a USB 2 port, so it's not even a USB 3. Uh, and Windows 10 and above. That's it, that's all that's on the box. How many, how many symbols do you need? On a box. Let's move you over to the desk so you get a nice top-down view as well. All right, so here is the box, as you can see, very nicely packaged. So inside the box here, pull-up tab, and then it's in a nice little, uh, oh, I thought it was a pull-up. Okay, maybe not. Obviously, the MSI has their little logo on everything, just so you know, MSI. The manual here with all your information that no one's ever gonna read, warranty cards and things like that. Inside the box is where the beast lie. So this is the little charging station as you can see the nice little MSI logo there. The two prongs here which is very similar to most wireless chargers and then inside here as you can see it says only for MSI dongle using. So this is where you can leave it plugged in. You can leave that just like that plug in there and then the cable which is a USB-C will come out of here and go into your PC and then that is that. You don't have to plug this directly into your PC unless you're not using this um, charging base, you will just, if you got the version without the charging base, you'll just have the USB, plug that directly into your PC, and that'll be your Bluetooth. But obviously, if you want to charge it, you will have to plug it in with a cable. But yeah, that's the last little charging block there. And on the bottom, you have this removable plastic, which will make it so it has a sticky base that will go onto your table so it doesn't move. The cable is, again, very simplistic. It is just a braided cable. I'm not keen when they do this. When they make this bit so bulky, I don't know, I'm not feeling that. Obviously again, MSI plastered all over it. Um, the cable feels very nice. It's got a bit of stretch to it, which is good. So if you do get snagged, it doesn't, you know, it's not gonna just pull everything off the desk. It does have a bit of a spring to it. Mouse, this is the main event. So this is the mouse itself in all of its glory. Again, on the bottom, you have these little bits of plastic you can peel off to make the skates a bit better. Obviously, you can leave them on if you really wanted to, but I don't see why you would. Just take them off. It just, it's not sticky or anything. It's just to help with the glide on your uh, your mouse mat, your glass mouse mat, whatever. You have a switch here, which is your on and off. And then this button here is actually the DPI button. So when you want to change DPI mid-game, you have to lift your mouse up and click this button, which I, I, that makes no sense to me why they've done that when they've got such a massive bit here they could have added that button to. These two prongs will be the ones that go onto your charging dock as so like this. They will just go on there. Now they are very magnetic as you can see. It's on quite snug. These are what the buttons sound like on the side. This is what the scroll wheel and top button sound like.
So that's the sound of the mouse itself. And on the side of the mouse, you get this nice rubber effect here just for a bit of grip, and it is also on the other side. The only thing I'm not keen about this mouse is the hand placement. Now, as you can see, my pinky is already underneath that. So when that's on the desk, I'm, I'm literally grazing the top of my finger off every single time. If I use this actually on the desk, as you can see, these two fingers are just, they're empty. They're, they're just, they're dragging along back and forth. It's not for palm users, okay? This is a very much claw. You have to literally claw every finger to be able to just get that. And I hate, I can't do claw. I don't know what it is. So I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a massive palm user, so I use my palm. So let me put the microphone down. You'll hear what I mean by my finger scratches. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying, but basically this is too small for my hand. If you have small hands, this would be perfect. If you have big hands, this is not for you. The overall build quality doesn't feel the best either. It is very plasticky. It is very cheap feeling but I guess that's so they can put all the technology inside of this thing. But overall, for me, I'm not keen on this layout. It, it indents, and that's where you lose that bit for your finger to rest on. It's somewhat an ergonomic style, which I'm not keen on for a gaming mouse. I made it look the part, but it just doesn't feel the part. Now, the only thing really gamey about this is the RGB. So when you turn it on, is this RGB come through the dragon here. Now this is green because it's trying to obviously connect to the Bluetooth and once it's connected, you can change it through their software. As you can see, when I click a button, it does have different colorways, but yeah, that's the only RGB you're gonna get from this mouse. Okay, so that was the MSI Clutch GM31 Lightweight Gaming Mouse. Now for me, again, it was the ergonomic style that just didn't fit my hand. The build quality could have been better with the DPI button at the bottom, threw me right off. Now in overall gaming, this could be the perfect mouse for you, and let's go over the price, because it's actually on sale as we speak, down from £40 to £29.99 on Amazon. That is in the UK with free shipping next day delivery. Now again, for me, this mouse is just not ergonomically fitting my hand right. It doesn't feel natural to me. I might get used to it if I carried on using it for a while, or if it was one of my first mice that I actually used in the gaming line. It's just a shame that the DPI button's at the bottom, the build quality could be better and it doesn't fit my hand. But for the price that you're gonna be paying for this mouse, if you are in the market of looking for a mouse within this budget range, definitely do recommend checking this out. But I do appreciate MSI for sending this out for review. I'll give my full honest opinion. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I can get back to you with that. But other than that, that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. And as always, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next one.